We're gonna do this next generation print for Ryan's trade show shirts on the left side of a button shirt. We'll show you how to register a shirt on the left side, how to do some more specialty placement using a nice collar button shirt. First, we'll set the job up using Rhinet Silver Press with micro registration, using micro registration to register the job to itself. So we'll start out with the smallest print. We're using a reduced ink. Between colors, we're gonna quickly flash dry. We're using a test pellet, but we're gonna quickly flash dry so we don't uh, build up the ink on the screens, on the back of the screens until we're actually physically ready to print because this is an all wet on wet job. We'll just quickly flash dry. This is a forced air BBC flash dryer. Does a pretty quick and fast job of flash drying. Make sure that's dry to the touch. You don't want to dry test pellets too long, otherwise they start to shrink. Now we'll come down and set the next print over it. With this next screen, we'll get it in a prox placement and we'll loosen our micros and get it registered in. Almost there. There we are. Perfect outline around it. Once we're in register, lock it down, and we'll do our next test print. Looks good. One more flash. It's good. Now the final print. This one registers into the star, so we'll get it in approximately and placement and then register it in. Unlock the micros. We're locked up. As you can tell, all these inks are really reduced. In fact, we're even mixing some colors. Kind of get different looks and effects. There we have it. We're on registration, ready to start printing. Before we start printing, we're gonna do one more test panel wet on wet. This print is set up as a wet on wet using reduced inks. Hitting each color one or two times. Ready to rock. Let's print some shirts. The shirt we're going to print is a collar black women's small with some obviously buttons. Now we're going to use a lot of tack because we have to make sure that we get this both flat and then straight on the palette. So we have a generous amount of tack adhesive on here and we have our center line to know where it's going to be lining up. We also scoot the platen down just slightly. Once we got flattened down, it's not time to achieve our print. You always want to double check for print placement before we start. So what, once again going wet on wet. Now that went over a seam as you can see. The reduced magenta kind of gives it a nice soft look. And then the gray will be a nice distressed background. And there's our final print. Now, to flash dry this, we are going to dry it, actually, not through the dryer. We're gonna lay it flat on the pallet, dry it using forced air flash dryer and a temp gun to so not ruin the shirt. Once our shirt gets to 320 degrees, take the dryer off. Now we're cured and ready for wearing. Next print is on a men's extra large shirt. And this one's a lot easier to print, obviously, because the button's on the other side of the shirt. Still want to make sure to get a liberal amount of spray adhesive down and make sure that our shirt is all the way stuck to the platen. Same print order, only we swapped black out for the gray. Because this is a distressed print, we actually uh, mixed in the black with the gray, so it gives it a kind of a cool 
mixed look. Once again, dry it in the same fashion. Another fashionable print on a nice collar shirt using reduced inks and 230 mesh screens from Ryanet.